Welcome back. A year ago tomorrow, a man opened fire on the South Haven Pier, severely injuring a woman and killing her husband before turning the gun on himself. The shooter was on the radar of law enforcement because he had threatened to commit a mass shooting at his high school. But just weeks after being released from supervision, mandated by the system, that terrible day in South Haven took place. Fox 17's Julie Dunmire was there on that Friday a year ago. It was a busy Friday on a Lake Michigan beach when on South Haven South Pier, Aiden Ingalls opened fire, killing one person, severely injuring his wife for life before killing himself. People working since that day to make sure one like it never happens again. Just something told me to just stop and record. Don Van Tilon, nearly a year ago, capturing the last seconds of Aiden Ingalls' life on camera after he had just killed one person and hurt another for life. But to this day, in Don's quiet Lansing backyard, he remembers the day he looked death in the face. Footage, but the minute he looked right at me, I'm like, you know, I don't, I don't want to be a victim. Van Tilon hasn't been back to the beach since. Crowded areas, something he's learned to be cautious of. I try not to put myself in, in those surroundings where there's too many people. This story serving as a constant reminder of what was considered a preventable tragedy from the beginning. You know, South Haven, you that's like a safe place, you think. Years before that day in South Haven, Ingalls planned a school shooting in Paw Paw. His family spoke up to prevent what he depicted in drawings from happening. He'd spend the next few years in the juvenile system and on probation. Against the prosecutor and law enforcement advice, the judge released him completely from probation on July 20 of 2021. Exactly one month later, that day at the pier. Was not a shock to a lot of us. Van Buren County Sheriff situation. Abbott then and now knows law enforcement did all they could. My heart still goes out to the family that lost a loved one. His department using this terrible day as a way to make sure one like it never happens again. I had a firm come in that dives in and does researches on cases like this. The findings include a gap in the system. The National Policing Institute's director for targeted violence explaining to Fox 17 that Ingalls should never have slipped through the cracks. His dangerous ambitions not going away with time. He dove into it hardcore um, to see if we missed anything on our end, if the FBI missed anything on our end. This day, part of prompting bipartisan legislation in the state budget with $15 million earmarked to extend support to extremely high-risk people like Ingalls so they don't end up released without support. Expert-level resources with the Michigan State University psychiatric team on board will be funded starting October 1st for the next five years. My heart goes out to everybody that was there personally and the fear that they're still going through today. The National Policing Institute saying this pilot program puts Michigan on the forefront of the nation for threat assessment and prevention. And when I go to the beach now, I look at things different. Because that day has forever changed South Haven because I go to that same beach on a regular basis with my family and I look at things different now because of that day. Prompting systemic changes, so a heartache and a day like this never happens again. But I had pictures three to five minutes prior to that where there was 12 to 13 other people in that area. Why he waited to not kill the rest of them, I, I thank God for that. That $15 million, the National Policing Institute explaining that they are incredibly grateful for that bipartisan support. It's part of the school budget earmarked specifically for this. They're going to create five different centers around our state, of course, starting October 1st when they get that funding, saying that this is something that's incredibly important in situations like this to make sure that things get better for people in Michigan. Reporting in South Haven, Julie Dunmire, Fox 17 News.